Dancing for Shelter, regarded as Eastern Kentucky's version of Dancing with the Stars, is returning for its fourth annual year on Friday, November 3rd. The show will be taking place at the Mountain Arts Center, where spectators can watch their favorite local leaders and their partners dance the night away. The proceeds for the event will go towards helping the homeless population in the region. We get local people. We had the county judge, the mayor. We've had some of the circuit judges. We, this year we have the district judge from McGoffin County, but we get individuals that aren't dancers, they're just community leaders, they're people that everybody knows, and we ask them to enter this dance contest, Dancing for the Shelter, and when we come in and talk to them, they say, but I can't dance. And, but we take them, and in 10 weeks, we teach them a routine, and we make them look pretty good. And so all this is done to raise money to support the Floyd County Homeless Shelter, it is called the Matawar House of Hope. You want to save money and Appalachian Wireless gets that. Right now you can get up to $650 off select devices, including the latest and the greatest on the Advantage Unlimited plan with a trade-in. Did y'all hear me? Up to $650 off select devices, including the latest and greatest with a trade-in. <laughs> I'm not a math whiz, but this deal, it's amazing. And you'll be on the region's premier network. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. See AppalachianWireless.com for complete terms and conditions. The event is funded entirely through donations from generous community members. McGuire is not only fighting homelessness, but going the extra mile for those receiving help. In the four years we've operated, we've probably served over 300 homeless individuals. And of those 300 that we've given temporary housing to, there's about 100 of them that we can account for that are unhomeless. We found them a job, we got them an apartment, we got them settled in, we got them on a budget, we helped them get their life back in order, and then we go check on them on a regular basis. Say, how you doing? Did you put back enough money for your water bill this month? You know, And so we're, we're just extremely proud of how the community has risen up to support us, because it's something I couldn't do and none of us could do by ourselves, but it's just so many people in this community in the bottom of the heart would reach in their pocket and give us substantial donations to keep this thing going. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.